Hello, this is Dr. Mark Goulston trying an experiment to see where this ends up. I'm attempting to live stream both to YouTube and to LinkedIn and I'm thinking of starting a series entitled I Never Would Have Thought of That with Dr. Mark Goulston. And to me, the best insights and tips and tools that we can get are the ones that are hidden in plain sight because when they're hidden in plain sight, it makes it easier to use them. So I am sharing one with you in this first uh, uh, pilot episode of I Never Would Have Thought of That, and it's called Excellence is a Terrible Thing to Waste. You know, when people are excellent at something, other people are more impressed with excellence than what they're excellent at. You don't have to be impressed by basketball to be impressed by Steph Curry. You don't have to be impressed by golf to be impressed with who Tiger Woods used to be. So here's how you use your excellence. Think of something that you have done that would be deemed excellent by someone that you did it for. And excellent is better than very good, consistently better than very good. And usually when you do that for another person, they're grateful to you. They're appreciative to you. You're memorable to them. But the problem is they go on back to their business as usual. So here's how you leverage your excellence. You send out an email to people uh, in the last year or two years that you've worked with or you've worked for, and in the subject line, you say, I would like to buy 15 minutes of your time. If they know who you are and they worked with you and they were impressed with you, they're going to open that email. Subject line, I'd like to buy 15 minutes of your time. And then what you write is, I would like to buy 15 minutes of your time because I value your time, it's valuable, I don't take it for granted, and I want to buy it because if I was not mistaken, it seemed like you were very, very pleased with the work I did with you or for you, and I'd like to spend 15 minutes trying to distill what it was that exceeded your expectations, what it was that you felt was excellent, and I'm going to be looking for something, you know, more than worked hard and was conscientious. Uh, and then hopefully they'll be willing to spend 15 minutes with you, especially if what you did for them was something that they uh, were impressed by. Plus, they also appreciate the fact that you're willing to pay them for their time. So hopefully they will agree. You'll get into a conversation with them, a Zoom conversation. And then you will relive the work that you did with them or for them that they told you was really terrific. And after you relive that with them, ask them, how would you describe that so it's different from other people that have worked with you or for you? And they will tell you what that is. And then after that, you thank them. And by the way, only real jerks are going to charge you for 15 minutes. I mean, everybody has 15 minutes, and if they were appreciative of your work, they'll give it to you. And then what you say to that person, can you think of an organization, an industry, a company, a board of directors, or uh, any sort of uh, entity that could really benefit from what you said I was excellent at? And they may pause. And if you reach out to 10 people, one to two of those people are going to pause and think to themselves that they know of someone. They know of a board. They know of a company. They know of an organization. And what they're going to say to you is, let me make a call. And they're going to say that to you because what they realize is if they make that call to that organization, that company, that board of directors, that they're not doing a favor for you, they're doing a favor for that, that organization. Because that organization is going to get the benefit of what you're excellent at, 
just as the person you're talking to got the benefit of it. So I hope that makes sense to you. I'm not even sure if this loaded on, uh, on YouTube or LinkedIn, but if it did and you found it helpful, uh, I hope you'll write back so that I will be inspired to continue this series and hope to share more hidden in plain sight tips that you can use to be more successful in your life. Thanks again for tuning in.